Hello! Welcome, first friends. Welcome to class grade one. We're having mathematics activities. Who likes maths? Who likes maths? Like teacher Candy? Who likes maths? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Today we're going to learn about making patterns in mathematics. Do you know how to make patterns? Yeah, we are going to learn how to make patterns using different things. We can use the same things, but then use different colors. For example, look at this in our books. They use same flowers. They use flowers, but then started with color yellow, then red, then yellow, then red. Then yellow, then red, say, uh -huh. then yellow, then red, uh -huh. then yellow, uh -huh. red, uh -huh. uh, yellow, uh, red. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Or you can use, you can make pattern using things which are different. For example, can you get maize and beans? Then you arrange them. Then you do beans and maize. Uh -huh. Beans and maize. Uh -huh. Beans. And make the uh -huh, beans and maize beans and make the uh -huh, beans and make the uh -huh, beans. <laughs> that is how you make patterns. For example, this one in our book, it starts with a flower, then a tree. A flower, then a tree. A flower, then a then a what? Then a what? Then a tree. Well done. What about this one? We have a a phone, then a book. A phone, then a book. A phone, then a what? A book. Well done. Let us join Teacher Joseph's class and get to learn with our friends on making patterns using real things. He has balloons. <gasps> Welcome. Good morning. We are going to look at uh, finding the next pattern and I'm going to use different items. Are we together? Yes. I'm going to use different items to show different patterns and you are going to find the next pattern together. Are we together? Yes. So, I'm going to start with the first item that I have here. What is this? Balloon. What is this? Balloon. So the balloon is going to be the first one in our pattern. So we are going to make a pattern. So the first item we are using is a what? A balloon. The next item that I'm going to use when I'm making my pattern is an item here by the name of ruler. What is this? Ruler. A ruler. So this ruler is going to be our second item in our pattern. So we have our ruler. And then the third item in our pattern is going to be a book. Are we together? Yes. So the third item in our pattern is going to be a book. And then I'm going to put a dash here so that we can get the next pattern. I'm going to put a dash there so we can get the next pattern. So let us look at this pattern here. We have a balloon followed by a ruler and then a so the book is the last item in our pattern. When you get to the last item and you want to get the next item here, you go back to the first item that you either drew in your pattern or the one that is shown here. So when you look at this pattern, which was our first item? Balloon. Which was, which, uh, the balloon was our first what? Item. Because we have balloon, ruler, hook. Balloon, ruler, so the next one will be a what? Balloon. The next one will be a? Balloon. A balloon. Look here, I've said that when you are getting the next pattern, when you are getting the next item in our pattern, the next item will be the first item that we started with. Are we together? Yes. So in our pattern here, the first item was a what? Balloon. So when you have a balloon, ruler, book, the next one is going to be the first item that we use. And what did we use in our first item here? 
Balloon. Balloon. So the balloon will be our next word. Balloon. Item. So if I was to put another dash here, look here, and I ask you to get the next pattern. This is how you will do it. We have balloon, ruler, hook. Balloon, the next one will be a what? Ruler. Very good. The next one will be a ruler. Just like that. Are we together? Yes. So if I was to put another dash here, let us see. So we have balloon, ruler, hook. Balloon, ruler, the next one will be a book. A book, very good. The next one will be a book. Are we together? Yes. The second example. Look at the second example. I'm going to use different items. And this time round, I'm going to use something that we use in class. What is this? Pencil. A pencil. So this pencil is going to be my first item here. So I have a pencil followed by a what? A ruler. And then a what? A balloon. Uh -huh. So I have, look here at this pattern, pencil, ruler, balloon. Who will tell us the next item? Yes? Pencil. Can you clap for her? One, two, three. So we have a pencil followed by a ruler, and then we have a balloon, which means our next item will be a what? Pencil. A pencil. And then, if I was to put another dash here, who can tell us the next item? Yes. Ruler. Can you clap for him once, twice, twice? Very good. So this is how we get the next item in a pattern. Are we together? Yes. When you are making patterns, this is how we make them. So in, in our first example, we had the balloons and the ruler, and then the book. In our second item, we had the pencil, ruler, balloon. So the next one will be a what? Pencil. Followed by a? Ruler. And if I was to put another dash here, the next one will be a what? A what? Balloon. A balloon. Very good. It will be a? So this is how we find the next pattern using different objects. So what's up?